Hello, wonderful people who cannot sit at home. Thank you so much for joining me. Today, I'm going to talk to you about my 10 absolutely favorite places to visit in Markham. I live not very far from Markham, so I'm actually in Markham quite often. And some of these places are food places, some are hiking, and there's even one spa. And if you have been following me for a while, I'm sure you have heard of my lovely Ontario road trip journals. I have one for spring and summer, and I have one for fall and winter. And I'm going to link them down below so you can find out more. And with that, let's go check out my favorite Markham places. So for the first stop, let's go to J-Town. As I understand, it stands for Japanese town. So over here is the location. I have been here a few times. I love it each time. It's just a collection of different stores. The main kind of bakery, basically as soon as you enter, it's on the right. Has tons of baked goods, has really cool Japanese things <laughs> that are edible. Uh, over here, I'm showing you gorgeous cakes. There is a section of sushi that is freshly made. But we were here for these triangles. I'm sorry, I don't know the name of them. Uh, from what I remember is they're $3.90 and they're these rice triangles and I got the spicy salmon inside and they were still warm. So this was uh, Saturday morning at about 10 in the morning and uh, they were there. Over here is the mochi, amazing mochi. I have tried a number of them, they're all great. And over here is the Yuzunoki bake Bakery. It is also beautiful. There are cakes in there that I've never even seen. I don't know what they are, but they're beautiful. And uh, definitely try them out. Over here is me trying the mochis. This is coffee mochi and matcha. And here's another matcha kind of cupcake. And there was also sesame seed bagel that was amazing. And here's a triangle with the spicy salmon. It was great. My mom had the teriyaki salmon. It was actually even better. So I highly recommend these triangles, especially on the Saturday and Sunday mornings. For the second stop, let's go to Denison Center. This place, I actually never been to. It was a new discovery for me. Here's where it's located. So when we went in, first we went to this uh, beautiful, very red store. It was recently Chinese New Year and they have all of the decorations and it was gorgeous. We kind of spent time in there checking it out. There was uh, some money over here, which we thought was pretty cool. And uh, the mall actually has a lot of, as I understand, Chinese beautiful pottery and ceramics. And I did not go in there because I was too scared, but everything is here so beautiful. And yeah, if you're brave enough, go for it. But the reason why we were here was for the this place called Baker Duck. So it's, uh, as I understand, fairly recently opened. And it just has a lot of different pastries and sandwiches. Over here is a really cool kind of rectangular garlic bread. And this, I think, was a uh, fish. Yes. This is Montreal smoked uh, meat sandwich. They have insane amount of things actually, and all of them are really well priced. I'd say from $3 up to $6.99 over here for the lobster, but it was actually really great. And over here is a gorgeous hot dog, it was $3.99. Uh, they also replenish as you stand. Here's all of the things I got, we got, and the lineup was long. I'm not gonna lie to you, it was long. The lineup was, it felt like 40 minutes. So was it worth it? Yes. But over here actually is the desserts. Each dessert was a dollar. If you get four, each dessert is a dollar. And over here is the inside of the lobster. So everything was amazing taste-wise. I highly recommend it. It's just that the lineup is long. But if you know what to expect, it's probably not going to be an issue. So just have enough time. So number three stop after Queen Tea Shop. Over here is the map. Uh, it's located on Bayview. A bit higher than steels and it's kind of in a plaza and at first I was like oh where is this but then you uh, it's not a lot of stores in a plaza so you find it pretty fast uh, the place itself is not huge but it's so adorable if you're into vintage and antique kind of look you have to go here and uh, all of the cups are from like the they're all just so beautiful. Over here is the uh, another gorgeous stained glass that uh, if you ask them they will turn on for you and here is the actual tower, uh, really excellent food. Everything was very freshly made. We were here, we pre-booked and we were here for 12 o'clock. Uh, so there was nobody yet in the, in the place, but highly recommend. Beautiful place, really lovely people and really nice tea. Duo Cafe is another one of my favorite places. It's just really visually beautiful. It is te technically on Richmond Hill. It's slightly under Highway 16. 
and uh, but it's so close to Markham that I think you will forgive me for including it in here. Just look at this visually stunning, gorgeous pastries. This is, as I understand, Italian Japanese mix, and they even have really cool ice creams over there. But uh, the the decor is beautiful. Everything tasted amazing. We got the smoked salmon sandwich and matcha latte, and this was pumpkin cheesecake. Anyway, everything which we ever tried in there was always good. Uh, fifth stop is Pride of Canada Carousel. Now this carousel is uh, seasonal, so I think it starts from May to 4 to about October. It closes in the winter time. The price was something tiny, like $3, and you get to ride it. What I loved about it is each element is pretty much a sculpture. It was an artist who collected all of these items from his travels and essentially this is sort of like trash turned into something beautiful and uh, all of them are kind of Canadian icons. Gorgeous uh, carousel, highly recommend. Number six stop in uh, that I absolutely love in Markham is Unionville. Any time of the year I am there literally every time of the year and I don't even know what's more beautiful because any time of the year is beautiful. They have a number of really nice cafes like Cutie Pie and uh, you can also go around to Good Pond. You can do like a whole hike around it. Claw and Kitty over here is a, uh, a claw game. Really loved it. it. It does have a lot of people so I suggest you go earlier on to test and try your luck. Uh, we played. I won two things. It was actually not that hard to win. The trick, as I understand, is you press once, and then when it hits to the item you want, you need to press again, and that's when it closes. And I think it's about $20 for 20 tokens, and each item is about 4 tokens. Go Place Spa is an excellent spa. It's a 24-hour spa. Over here is the location. Uh, gorgeous inside, very well done. This is an old movie theater that turned into spa. Um, I think the price was something along the lines of like $65, but because there's a really nice restaurant and of course the, the tax and gratuity, it ended up being more. It's an excellent way to spend the whole day. Here's the beautiful interior. Everything is very new. There are, gosh, I want to say like 10 different rooms. There's like the jade, a hot room. There's amethyst room. Beautiful, beautiful spa. And the food is absolutely excellent. The sushi was excellent. They also have bubble tea. They even have lobster, if you would like, and oysters. Number nine stop is Milne Dam. Love this area. Uh, free to park, free to kind of roam around. We park at the P Princess Street over there and we head for the Milne Dam. So at first you see the beautiful dam and then you go on to the suspended bridge, which is also gorgeous fairly new and if you kind of continue going either of the directions there are some really beautiful hiking paths. And our number 10 spot is Angus Glen Golf Club. This club has brunches on Sunday and they are buffet brunches which are about I think $45 per person. They are not every single Sunday so make sure to check online uh, but when you but you have to check it out it's absolutely amazing brunch really well done the chefs who make this do a really great job there's tons of food to eat i can never even sample all of that they have uh definitely an excellent place but if they do not have let's say you want to go on a saturday they also have silo grill which is a really nice restaurant they also do brunch there it's not all you can eat but it's a beautiful restaurant and the food there is also excellent. I've done it a couple of times and loved it every single time. So I hope you enjoyed my Markham places. I hope you uh, check them out. And of course, please subscribe, like, and share if you enjoy my videos. Thank you so much. Bye.